Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Absolution with me, Grey Hunter. And there's dramatic music. Even more dramatic music. And that's how you know shit's about to go down. So we are back at Rosewood Orphanage. I think it's Rosewood Orphanage. The level is called Rosewood, so I'd imagine Rosewood Orphanage is the name. And Hitman needs some new suits. Or he needs a new suit, because his old one's getting a little bit battered. What have we here? A priest outfit. It's hilarious. Also a little bit symbolic, because his only friend apart from Diana was a priest. Tried to get him out of doing the whole Hitman thing, at least until he got kidnapped, and then Hitman had to go get him. So, sort of, didn't really work on that. Sort of level. Hey, Sister Mary. Oh, it's you. Indeed. I'm glad you're here. Victoria's sick. One minute she's fine, and the next she's hardly breathing, and the doctors can't find anything wrong. Don't with worry, I know what necklace. it is. A necklace? Well, well, it's on the dresser. She broke the latch, but I fixed it. Be healed. <sighs> Hello, Vicky. Has anyone been asking about her? No. They're here. I've got to move Victoria fast. Where's the safest place in the building? Oh, uh, Oh, the basement, the basement. Get down there quickly. I'll meet you there with Victoria. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, heaven be praised. Mm, yeah. 47's oh. gonna be more helpful in this instance. Come God. Just, just FYI. <coughs> Alrighty. <coughs> Thank you. You can't actually go fast. Came back. Fast, by the way. Just like you said. I was so, so scared. Technically, we said we'd watch over you, but yes, same thing, I suppose. Sort of. Was this gunshot? No, don't worry. No, no. I promised Diana to keep you safe. I know what you've been through. No one will harm you ever again. Now, one of the main criticisms of this game is that little section there. They've, people have gone, that's not in Hitman's character, that's not something he'd do or say. And I'd agree if he was talking to anyone else. But he and Victoria are kind of two sides of the same coin. They're the only people who actually understand one another's situation completely because they're the only two cloned, genetically engineered assassins in the world. At least as far as each of them knows, because Mark Pachesi the third doesn't count. He's dead. But I think because it's Hitman and Victoria talking, it does kind of make sense, and it is kind of in character because he's trying to protect her to give her a choice. And the only other people she's ever known, apart from Diana and the Doctors, is him. Going down. So surely that's not the end of the level. No, it's not. Because the power just went out. I need to get the power back on. Sister Mary is waiting in the basement. I will meet you both there. Conveniently, that hatch opened. So off we go. Now we are going to complete this level without killing anybody except Wade, though you would be forgiven for being tempted to murder every last one of these people. We started. Let's go. We gotta find them. So you can wait until they finish the second bit of their conversation, but I didn't. If you don't, you just have to get behind this bed quickly. You'll be fine. Go and find out what they got. Now you don't have to worry about that guy who slowed down a little bit. He gets a phone call, but he stops far enough ahead that he's not gonna be a problem. So grab that book, because we are going to need a distraction item. You could get one from lower down, but we had to wait for this guy to move anyway. And now we're going to choke him out like a bitch. Down you go, son. You could leave him alone. I was under the impression that he was one of the people who kept catching me, though. So I took him out just to be safe. Though now I'm not sure if he was, because the previous times I tried to record this level, he there was a guy. It might have been this fellow, but I, I'm not sure. Because I never did find out. But there was a fellow who would always catch me. And he was wearing the same getup. And he walked along. So, you know, I thought, hmm, take him out. So we threw that book because in this room, directly in front of us, there is a fuse. And it's really difficult to get to. So I decided I'd make it easier on myself and take out this fellow. 
And I believe I take out a second fellow as well. So we just want to move him into the conveniently placed little bit of storage. Get in there. And you don't have to worry about the guy that I dragged up onto the stairs. Nobody actually comes down that way. He, I believe, is the patrol guy who goes up and down these stairs. So you take him out. You don't have to worry. And we just have to get a second guy. Come on. Hurry up. Hitman hasn't got all day. He has to get weighed. He has to get the fuses. Has to turn the power back on. Thank you. Your compliance will be noted. There we go. So we'll just put him in the storage closet too. There we go. And now we can easily get to the evidence and the fuse. But we're not going to do either of those things right now. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go through this door. Because the other three fuses are in fairly easy locations to get to. Well, I say easy, but it's, it took me so many runs to get this one right. So we want to go through this vent. Because doing so allows us to go along the walls of this room and thus avoid the gaze of a lot of other people. So we'll just go along here. There we go. So we're not actually going to be coming back here. What we're going to do essentially is a long circuit of the level. So the first fuse we get is there. And now we head off. Go through this way so you can avoid the guard who just stopped in the corner. And... Have to come on this side. Now you might be tempted to continue along. Stop right there, because if you go any further, that guard will see you when he decides to wander along that way. Unfortunately for him, 47 is a master of being hidden. You don't really need this fire axe, but I grabbed it just because I don't think I'd grabbed it before in any other pass through, and, you know, collectibles, man. Collectibles. So we're just going to wait. Because that other guard who was uh, patrolling, there he is, he turns around and patrols back the other way. So you just want to wait until he goes past. You'll hear the static sound getting really loud. Don't worry about it. Just make a beeline for this area. And get over this side. And then just hide here. Now he did that to trigger the conversation that they're having now. Because they have a talk about drugs, and then their boss comes along and berates them for whatever. Something. He's not happy with their progress. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to wait for this fellow. And then choke him out like a bitch. You heard nothing. There we go. Get off that wall, 47. So we're going to drag the body, and we're going to place it in the conveniently placed fridge right here. Get in the icebox. There we are. Easy enough. And just in time, because that guy sometimes turns towards you if you're still trying to put the body in the in the uh, in the box. They have really, really good peripheral vision. And go straight for the fuse. And get the hell out of there. There we go. So what we did was we disrupted their routine. They don't have the conversation with their boss. But we triggered the beginning of it, so they are looking in the right direction, and they won't see you when you go to grab the fuse. If you let them have the conversation, that fellow over there, the one on the extreme right, he will walk along and see you sometimes when you're trying to get back out of here. And it's very, very difficult to go the route I took if you don't take out that guy that we put in the fridge. So we're just waiting for the patrolling guy to decide that he's done patrolling. He's in a good location now, so we lob the fire axe to get those two to turn around. And we make our escape. Okay, okay, who did that? And then just yeah, hide behind this counter. Yeah, I told him. And wait for the conversation. Shit got out of hand. Okay, I don't know who. I guess it's just one been of those things. It could have been anyone. Hang on a second. Hey, Peckerhead. What are you doing? Find the girl. Don't just stand there. He's obviously fantastic at following instructions. So we could have gone now, but I decided not to because I wasn't sure what pattern those uh, guards are in. There's two guards in the next section. The one who was right up against the window next to Peckerhead here, and another one who patrols the opposite way. And I wasn't sure what their pattern was, and I also wasn't sure about whether Blue Guy over there would turn around. So I decided to wait until he finished having his conversation. He doesn't actually go anywhere, but I wasn't sure if he'd stop pacing. Yeah, he goes out there, but he doesn't go anywhere that affects us. He just stops. 
I wasn't sure if he'd turn around though and keep pacing when he was having his conversation. So now that guy's looking there, we can just sneak on behind him and get into this middle row. And you just want to be careful that you're not too quick because otherwise that guy will see you. So I was a little bit concerned here because I thought I was trapped. I thought that they were going to come back and intersect and no, I was lucky. I was able to get over this way because they both stop at the end of each respective row. So I was able to get around the corner before the other guy came around. I was looking around so nervously that I was like, no, 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 I've made it so far, damn it. And then out through this door. And this is the room where we distracted those two guys from before. So the evidence is sitting on a counter. And I just moved around there so uh, if the door didn't shut quickly enough, I would be okay. So that guy who just got distracted and stood up, who's going to investigate the gas can. He was standing in hey, front of the evidence. About? So we just wait for that guy to turn around and evidence obtained. And the fuse is on the other hey, side. You do that again. It'll Hello, be fuse. That That's fuse number body. three. We okay. do have one more to get, but the last one to get is ridiculously easy, so we don't have to worry about it too much. And we just wait for him to resume his position, and away we go. And now we'll hide uh, this fellow up here who's on the stairs. So we'll hide him in the conveniently placed hidey spot at the top of these stairs. It's not actually at the top, it's just outside in the corridor, but uh, close enough. Come on. There we go. In you get. You have fun now. Off we go. Alright, so if you come through this section earlier on, there is a security guard behind this piano, and he's being tortured. You have an achievement, which is to save him, but uh, unless you do it right away, you cannot. So, grab that last fuse, and away we go. This door is actually far enough away that the guy standing above the staircase, who was uh, just watching out, cannot see you, so you're all good. And then just go back down the stairs. Come on, 47. Put a giddy up in your step. Come on. Down the stairs. Although, to be fair, you can't run, so <laughs> I guess I was going at the fastest speed I could go. Because if you run, you alert everybody, so bad idea. And through we go. All good. And place the fuses. Silent as fuck. Pull that lever. And away we go. Well, we technically don't go. Victoria goes. We have to get down there still. Sister Mary? Who? Yeah, it's not Sister Mary. Sorry to break it to you. Come on, Hello, Wade. Like it when you fight back. Come on. Fight back, girl. Fight back. Hey, Wade. I want to be in charge, too. Oh, dear. Papa's little boy. You've been waving that little thing around all day, haven't you? <laughs> Shut up, Wade! Oh. Tell Wade and Lenny don't like each other very much. Hello, Sister Mary. Oh. You think you're a tough guy, Lenny? Hmm? Tough guy? Stop it! Come on, man, you tough guy? Come on. Come on, you tough guy? Come on, man! No! Come on! Okay, I'll show you! Uh. Shut up, bitch! Oh! Or I'll Put a cap in your ass! Look out, everybody! We better make room for Limp Dick Lenny! Come on! You know what, Way? Just... Oh, oh, God. oh my yep. God! Oh, okay. Good job, Lenny! Y'all see that? This is like pop like a watermelon! <laughs> Lenny! <laughs> so yeah, Wade's got what, just a few problems. We better let the grown-ups clean up this. Boys, keep watch, huh? Nice job, Lenny. Nice job. Yeah. I get why Layla doesn't like Wade. So, what you have to do here is you have to throw that knife. Well, an object. It doesn't have to be the knife. And that distracts the first guard on the far right. And that one distracts the second guard on the far left. Number three in the middle doesn't really know what to do. And away you go. But hug this left wall. Because if you don't hug the left wall, then sometimes they will see you. And it's, it's not fun. It's really not. So, just go on down here and grab the knife from here. You're not going to actually use it to kill anybody because we're being all stealthy and non-lethal like. 
But we're gonna wait for that guy to go away, and we do need a throwing object. We could go for the bottle, but it's just easier. There we go. And just hug this wall. Well, stay behind it, at any rate. And lob the knife in a general that way direction. That'll get both those guys looking the other way, and the third one won't be a problem, so you can grab the evidence and get. Now you could go for the ledge there, but again, I got this far on a single run, because this is actually one of the few levels where I got a single run through the whole way and made it, and it was beautiful. It was beautiful, I tells you. Lend me a fiver, let me have a sip, let me have a drag, give me a ride, and do! I want my cliffhanger DVD back like today. I mean, how long have you had that thing? Serious, serious business, man. Serious business. Really? But yeah, this was one of the few levels that I actually managed to do in one go. And I was like, I want to jump for that ledge now. I want to because it's a good pattern, but no. So we waited until he went away and ledge. It was just too risky that he'd spot us as we were getting into cover. And it probably helped anyway because uh, the third guy got back into position where he could not see us. There we go. So the second guy is a little bit of an issue, but if you're quick enough getting across here, as long as you don't get stuck on the terrain, or the, uh, the uh, walls rather, you'll be okay. So just wait for this guy to turn around. There you are. He could go now. Again, I choose not to because there is a second guy there who could easily see me. I could knock this guy out, but you lose points if you don't hide the bodies and you cannot get Silent Assassin on a level if you do not hide all the knocked out bodies. Because knockouts don't count, obviously, because you're not killing anybody. So as long as you knock them out, but you don't leave them anywhere, you can still get Silent Assassin. So we just go and climb down. Down we go. And we hide behind these pipes. Because we just want to wait for those two to be facing the right direction before we go. Because if they're not facing the right direction, we'll get spotted. And I don't like being spotted. There we are. Now he should turn around, there we go, and we make our break for it. Go, 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 Hitman, move! Nice. So we had a little bit of a potential spotting there, but it was okay. And I make my way over to that uh, little pallet there, because Wade takes a shot at you. He won't actually count as a detection in that uh, part there, but it's still nice not to be out in the open when he shoots at you. Not that he actually kills you, I don't think. So we'll turn this valve, because that'll stop the steam from going across that vent. You can just go straight down that way, the uh, way R Wade ran, and you might, the first time that you played this level, do that, assuming that you could catch him. You can, but you have to face off against him and four of his guys. Or is it three? I can't remember. It's three or four. And you can't get Silent Assassin, because one, you'll be spotted, and two, you'll kill other people. So we just go through around here, Evade Wade's ambush and turn this valve. Hi, Wade. Oh, oh Wade. Oh. And we'll grab his pistol because I actually like his pistol. His gun looks cool. And we'll stand impotently next to Victoria because, regardless of the fact that we're standing a meter away from her at most, usually when you take out Wade like that, she still gets taken away. I mean, for real. Who's a red dick now, you cocksucker? Make fun of me, I'll teach you a thing or two. I hope you die real hard and real long, you fucking motherfucker. <laughs> and you, Baldy, don't you fucking move, or I'll put a, a fucking bullet in her head. That's what I'm saying. Wait, this is what happens when you fuck with Lenny. Don't you fuck with Lenny anymore. Seriously, I was standing right next to Victoria. Why would I not make sure she was safe before attacking Wade? Or before checking on Wade. Wade's not important. So he stole his car keys. Hope, South Dakota. You're a long way from home. <laughs> Suck shit, Wade. That's what happens when you wood, fuck with the man. hitman. Why do I have wood? Because you're a strange, strange individual, that's why. Come on, 47, let's roll. Alrighty, so we made it through. Made it through on a single play, 
single attempt. And we got Shadow, which meant that we got the highest possible score. Hooray! You do lose points for pacification, but as long as you hide the bodies, you get them back. So, Silent Assassin all the way. Nice. So I decide as well at this point, because the uh, episode hasn't actually gone for terribly, terribly long, that we'll do Great Balls of Fire, which is the next one. At least I think it's Great Balls of Fire. Either way, we're leaving. I will say this for him, Wade has a cool car. That is a cool car. So off we go. Apparently we didn't run into any roadblocks on the way out of town. Bye Chicago. Bye. Dramatic new music. It's okay, 47. Don't be so frustrated. You did your best. You'll get her back. You will, champion. You will. So you can sort of see that 47 is regretting taking out the contract on Diana. I mean, she was his friend, as much as a man like him has a friend. Yes. Yes. Hello, buddy. So, so, the infamous birdie. You better have a good reason for dragging me out here. Hey, I'm here to offer my services. You see, this kidnapping of yours, I'm worried that you have no idea who you're up against. I'm Birdie. I didn't know you cared. He doesn't. Let me take a closer look. Is this the face of a man I can trust? Dom is dead. Well, that's new, Courtesy isn't it? Courtesy of the bald guy. And that means you need a new man on the inside. And who's better out there than me? Am I right? Well, no, maybe. Birdie, you're not right. Because, see, I got Apparently not. And that means I don't really need you now, do I? Wait, 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 now be cool, man. Come on, please, listen. Look, you don't understand. You want the highest bidder? Then you need me to engineer the drop. That's what I do. Man. It is kind of what he does. Birdie. You think I can't make a simple trace on your phone call? I do feel sick. Oh, that, oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Birdie, who is, uh... The hell is I love this little. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, Jay. Who Jade? So casually asking Fuck the question. You, oh, that, oh, oh, now that's the wrong oh. answer. Damn, I love this country. A man can become anything he wants to be, as long as he's got the brains and the cojones. Okay, 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 she's a low level agency bitch. The agency? Are you telling me the agency's connected to Victoria? He knew, he knew who the hitman was. How does he not know that it's sort of important? You know, who Victoria These are very is. very dangerous people, man. If you screw them over, they will find you. But if you let me be the middleman... It's not exactly coincidence. Can't you see if it meant enough to them to send a fucking hitman? Don't you see she's got to be worth millions? Millions? I'll take my chances. Oh, you're good this time, Birdie. You've been very useful. But if I see your weasel face again, I will bury you right here next to the Founding Fathers. This is the second I thing that I don't quite get about Blake you Dexter. Know I will. I'm cool. He makes such I'm stupid cool. decisions. Think you're gonna cut me out of the action? Well, you got another thing coming, man. I got a sorpresa for you. Yeah. Yeah. Because right now, fact, I got a surprise for everybody. the only thing he's done is he's made Birdie want to get even with him. And Birdie flip-flops between people all the time. That's kind of what he does. So can you really think that he wouldn't go back to helping 47? Though I suppose at this point, maybe Dexter wouldn't think that he might be helping 47. I don't know. But really, that whole decision was just a stupid one. Birdie knows you've got the girl. He sells information. That's kind of his thing. 
would it not make sense to at least eliminate him? Maybe not. I don't know. It just strikes me as a kind of foolish decision, because now that's twice that, instead of killing off people who could harm him and his business ventures, Blake Dexter has just ignored them. Though granted, 47 is the more dangerous. At this point, anyway. Awesome. Welcome to Hope. So, the mission, I think, is called Welcome to Hope, but when it, you get to the end, it comes up as Great Balls of Fire, because that's the, uh, the bar that you're going to. So we have seen this. This is a place we have been before. Well, we haven't actually been here physically, but we know of it. Now, to get to the bartender, there's a various set of ways that you can do it, but this is the easiest I've found. You pull that, and the jukebox goes out. What are you looking for, stranger? Trouble? Now, some of you may recognize this guy. I've never, I've never actually played Kane and Lynch, so I don't know which one of them it is. But I think it's Kane. I don't know. Somebody correct me as to who it is. I've, I've never played Kane and Lynch. I just know one of them has long hair, the other does not. So there you go. You start the bar fight, and if you watch for a while, you'll see that Kane and or you know, Kane or Lynch, whichever it is, can hold his own. He's very, very good at fighting. So we just want to get through here. If you don't set off the uh, jukebox like that, you can still get in here. It's just going to be harder because there's a guard in there. And really, what's the point of not setting off the jukebox? You have to get through this area anyway. So off we go. You can avoid getting into most of the bar fights, but you will have to face off against one or two people, I believe. There's a couple that you just don't have a choice. Oh wait, no, I made it through this one without that. What am I saying? Of course you can make it through. Uh, but usually, if it's your first time playing the level, you'll inadvertently walk into range of somebody, and that's a bit of a problem. Hello, bartender. Dude? Dude, I work here, okay? Please don't hurt me. I just work here. No intention of hurting you if you tell me what I want to know. Uh, I, 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 Too slow. I, tell me what I want to know, damn it. Barbershop! Every day, 12 noon, sharp! Hello. Hey, Holmes. How's country life? Local stream, you okay? Oh, they're treating me fine, birdie. Why don't you pop on over to McGarman's gun shop? Because I got you a little moving in. Brother. Oh, you did? Pretty sweet. Give me all the nice things. So yeah, great balls of fire. We made it through as a shadow. We did not touch anybody. It was amazing. And I click along here because I believe at the, that point I was like, hang on, wait, what? Did I really make it through that? Dark and cover. You saw it here, folks. 